Hey guys, welcome to uh, the first video for Swift Tutorials. Uh, I'm Noah from All Right Development. So let's learn how to use Core Data. So Core Data is a way that you can save data onto the phone without using a database like Firebase or AWS. So let's make a new single view app called Core Data Sample. Make sure that you check the box that says Use Core Data before you press Next. And we don't need to create a Git repository. Um, so now uh, let's build the storyboard really quickly for this project. Uh, so all we're going to do is save a number or a high score up to core data and then call it back. So in our view controller, we'll want a label. And we're going to want to call this label score. Then we're going to want two buttons. So one button is going to be increase score. And one button is going to be whoop, save data. So what we'll do is we will connect these um, storyboard items to our view controller. So we're going to call this the score label. And then we're going to want to make a method every time you tap increase score. We'll call this increase score. And what it's going to do is we're going to say score label, or we're going to want to make a integer value for a score. And then we're going to want to say score plus equals one. Okay. And for now, we'll just say score starts off at zero, but we are going to want to change that. Um, so now we can go and learn how to save data. So anytime someone wants to save their score, they can do that. So we're going to call this method save data, and it's an IB action for the save data button. Um, so let's go back into our view controller. So we want to make sure that core data is imported. So let's import core data. Uh, and when we want to save data, we want to know where we're saving the data to. And we're saving it to our data model. So click on core data sample dot the data model. And we want to create a new entity that we can store data to. An entity is like an organizer with a bunch of different attributes to it. So we'll just call our entity entity for now. And we want to add a number attribute. Every attribute needs a type, so let's give our type an integer. And then we want to make sure it has a default value, and it does. The default value is zero, which is good. So when you start, um, it will be zero. So, how do we save data? Well, we want to establish a context. And for users who are using um, core data, the context is normally going to be what I'm typing right now, UI application dot shared dot delegate as app delegate. This is the most common context for core data. And then you want to do dot persistent container dot view context. So now you have a context established, you want to also establish an entity. And we're going to call this an NS entity description. And then the entity name we're using is entity. That's what we just created in our data model. And we're calling it uh, in our context that we called context. So now that we have our context and entity set up, we would like to create a new entity that we're going to save up into our database. So we're going to call our NS managed object, which is the object, object that we will save up. The entity that we're saving it to is entity that we just created in the line above. We want to insert it, insert into context. These three lines of code are setting up your entities and um, getting you know, your app ready to store it up into core data. So now what we want to do is we want to say, 
um, new entity dot set value. The value we're going to want to say score label dot text. And since that's a string, we'll want to say, you know, we don't even need to say score label dot text. We can just say score because that's already an int. And we're going to say for key. Remember, we call their attribute number in our database. So now we want to do a do catch. A do catch is um, going to be able to see if there's any errors when we're saving and make sure everything goes smoothly. So in our do block, we want to say try context dot save. And when I said do catch, I really meant try catch. Sometimes I say do catch, but really um, I meant try catch, which is the normal way of saying that. So we have a in our do block we have a try catch. We're trying to save it and we'll print saved if so. If we don't print it or if we don't save it, we'll print failed saving. So that is all you need to save data up to core data. But how do you get the data back down? Well, we're going to want to write a get data method that will do that for us. So we're going to say um, a function get data, open closed, and in our block we want to um, create another context. So let context is equal, this is going to be the same thing, UI application dot shared dot delegate as app delegate dot persistent container dot view context. Now we want to get a request. We're not saving something up, we're requesting something come down. So we're going to say an ns fetch request to store in a list of nh fetch request results. The entity we're going to be using is called entity. That's a lot, but it's okay. Now we should say request dot returns object as false is equal to false. Now we want a another uh, do block. We're going to say let result equal try context dot fetch request the request we wanted that we just created. We also want to say for our data in the result, in the results we're getting our NS managed objects that we saved up before. Score is equal to data dot value. Um, for our key number that we created. And we also need to assign it as an integer because up there it's any object. Then we need to write our catch block of the try block. And our catch block should actually go here. And if it doesn't work, we're just going to print failed. Um, now our error should go away and we have a get data method so what this is really doing is it's finding all of your data in your array of all the numbers you've stored it's setting score to the last item in that array so now that we have score set to a value what we'll want to do is after we call get data we're gonna wanna call get data in view to load and then we're gonna wanna set our score label dot text is equal to score. And we want to put that in quotations because it's an integer trying to get stored to a string. So that is how you do that. So as an overview, we made an IB outlet for our label and a variable for our score set as an integer. We wrote the save data method to send our data up 
to the core data. And we wrote a get data method to bring it back down. We call the get data <coughs> Ooh. we call the get data method to get our scores that we sent up there. And then we uh, set our score label to the score. So let's run this. Remember, we set our default value as zero, so it should initially be zero. And since we haven't launched this before, it's still launching. Okay, so now that it's launching, we're going to see our interface in just a moment. Okay, so as you see, our default value was zero. Our score label is zero. If we increase score, Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, so one thing we have to do before we run it is we have to make sure that every time we increase score, our score label dot text is updated. So now let's run it. Okay, so now we have our initial default value of zero. Every time we increase the score, we set the value, or we in, we set the value of the label. But now, when we click Save Data, as you see in the terminal window, we got a message that said Saved. So now, if we rerun our app, it should start with ten. If you did not have core data, it would start over at zero. But let's see if our get data method works. And it does. So core data works. If we save it to 24 and we rerun it, it should start at 24. There we go. So as you can see, core data does work. Um, I will be posting the source code to this in the description, um, but thank you for watching.